Let's take a look at equilibrium reaction for a weak acid, and we'll generalize here and call that HA. And in water, we expect this to dissociate partly and form hydrogen ions in a conjugate base. And we know there is an expression that relates a, the ratio of the products over the reactants, and we expect that to be a constant. Frequently, we're going to be interested in calculating pH, so it would be useful to get the hydrogen ion equation, or show that in terms of the hydrogen ion. And so we get this equation. Now, this is somewhat limited in its applicability because these quantities in this ratio are equilibrium concentrations and we don't have a direct handle on those. Those are not things that we added to solution so directly uh, that is uh, they've dissociated some so we no longer know how many moles are still in that form. What we do know is how much we added in the HA form we can calculate that directly from what we weighed out. And so we call this the analytical concentration. It's the amount added to the solution in the HA form. And likewise, the amount we dump in in the conjugate base form, maybe as a sodium salt, that's the analytical concentration of the conjugate base. But those quantities are not quite the same as what we have at equilibrium. They are related though. If you take this total scorecard on the acid and base family members, then they ought to sum up to what we've added for those, all those different forms. So that's a useful equation for us. We need one more independent equation to uh, simplify our expression. Uh, so we're going to take account of all the charges in solution. So if we add up all the positive charges in solution, they ought to balance the negative charges in solution. So in addition to hydrogen ion, uh, we might have sodium ion if we've added the conjugate base as a sodium salt, those ought to yield the same number as the sum of the negative charges. So we have hydroxide in solution, and we also have the conjugate base in solution. So these two expressions can help us get expressions to substitute back in our original equation. Let's come up with an expression for the conjugate base here, since it's right in front of us. Just rearranging this equation, we have the conjugate base is equal to H plus plus sodium ion minus OH. Now, the sodium ion is an extra variable here, but if you think about it, we can replace that as well. When we add sodium ion to solution, we've been doing so as the quantity for the, the analytical concentration of the conjugate base. So sodium is no, nothing more than the CA term. So let's rewrite that and bring that up into the first position here. And we have we have this expression then for the conjugate base. Now, for the HA form, solving, rearranging this equation for the weak acid, we get CHA plus CA minus minus the conjugate base. 
Now, we've just determined what that expression for the conjugate base should be, so let's make that substitution. So we have CHA plus CA minus the expression for the conjugate base, CA plus H plus minus the hydroxide. Now we see a couple of terms are going to drop out, so we can simplify this to get the HA is equal to the analytical concentration of the weak acid minus the hydrogen ion concentration and plus the hydroxide concentration. Now these two equations can be used to substitute back in our expression for the hydrogen ion concentration. It's equal to Ka times the ratio HA over A minus. The HA is this equation or expression, HA minus H plus plus the hydroxide and C a minus, and now we have a plus hydrogen ion concentration and minus hydroxide. So it's a somewhat similar pattern on the bottom, just the signs change. Now this is what we were hoping to get because all the terms in the right hand side of the equation are things that we either know or are interested in solving for. Now the H plus uh, is related to the hydroxide when we have water dissociating we get H plus plus hydroxide. So if we really want to uh, remove the hydroxide from the expression we can use the equation or the product of the two ions is equal to the Kw or dissociation constant for water. This is a very useful equation. It's helpful in lots of situations with weak acids and bases. So I refer to this as the general weak acid equation. It's worth memorizing because we can use it although it looks a little formidable at the moment, it's easily simplified by using a little chemical intuition.